Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Dami and this is Dami Dimension where I share a lot of sewing tutorials and DIY videos as well. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the red button down below to subscribe because on this video we have a lot coming up every week. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a corset with African prints. This is what we came up with this week. If you want to learn how this was made, just keep watching. Make sure you watch to the end of the video and you can leave a comment for me in the comment section if you have any questions regarding this video and you can check other videos on my channel as well. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any video on this channel. So let's get started guys. So the first thing to do is to rule out your vertical measurement just like you would do on the basic bodies. So, so now here is my shoulder line. My bust point is here. The under bust and this is the waistline. Alright, so the next thing to do would be to take the half of your nipple to nipple measurement and uh, place it right here the half of my nipple to nipple measurement is 3.5 so i'm marking it like so also mark it you know on another line like this so that you can connect it to a straight line and now i'm just trying to take my top length measurement as well so just decide whatever length you want your tro uh, your top to be for me it's a crop top so i'm just making it about 20 inches or uh, you know 21 inches so I'm just ruling out the top length line as you can see all right so next thing go on your waistline and mark one inch to the right and one inch to the left so that's going to be forming the dart okay on your under bust repeat the same thing one inch to the right and one inch to the left all right and on that top length I came out up by one inch and then I'm going to be connecting from my bust point this way all right and this way as well all right and once that is done the next thing is for us to take the bra cup uh, radius and the radius is going to be from your bust point to under bust measurement so for me it's three and a half like i took before so i'm just going to be taking that all around just like you can see me doing right now Okay, so take the radius all around like so and then connect them together. So that is just serving as a guide. That is not going to be the exact shape of our cup because our breast is not totally round. So I'm just showing you two different types of bra cup now. The black one is completely round while the white one is kind of like a U shape with a curve at the top as well. And this is what we are going for. So we are going to be trying to achieve something like this. If you want yours to look perfectly round, you can, you know, go ahead and leave it this way. But for me, I'm going for this white shape. All right. So now on the bust point line, you are going to come up by one and a half inch like so. And draw a an horizontal line at that point like so. And on that horizontal line, you are going to be taking half inch, just like you can see me doing. Okay. And next thing, you're going to your under bust line. And then you're going to be coming up by three quarter of an inch. Or you can take half of an inch if the person's breast is really big. And then you are going to be connecting the point like so. Okay. So... Uh, take note that our breast is usually bigger on this side towards our armpit area. So because of that, we are going to be uh, moving out by, from this point, you're going to be moving out uh, by about three quarter of an inch. Or you can take half of an inch if the person's breast is small. So then you are going to be connecting this point together as well. So next, on this point where your circle touches your bust point line right if you want you can come down by half of an inch if you want the uh, boobs to be exposed or if you want it to be covered then you can go up by half of an inch but for me i'm going to be maintaining that point i don't i'm not going to be coming up or coming down by half of an inch okay so i'm just going to be uh 
drawing my curve this way take note that i did not make it exactly like the circle we did so that is the shape that i want so next we need to connect this point this way if you remember how the breast curve that we are working towards looks like so this is what we need to do now we need to join this way but in order to find that point we are we are going to be referencing our arm hole line. So I'm just taking the half of the arm hole of this person and I'm going to be drawing the horizontal line on that point like so. And this now is going to guide us on how to uh, find that point. So on this arm hole line now, I'm going to be coming down by half of an inch. And this is just because it is a tube top. All right, for tube tops, we need to come down by half of an inch like so and from there we are going to be connecting just like you can see me doing now okay and the next thing is for us to draw the dart for the upper part of our cup as well because we have already done the uh dart for the down part so on this line again you are going to be taking one inch to the right and one inch to the left and you can see that i took my point on that circle that we did initially and i'm going to be connecting to my bust point like so and next from this point we are going to be extending horizontally out like this and now it is time for us to start transferring our horizontal measurement so i'm going to start off by transferring the chest measurement and you are going to be taking the chest measurement divided by four then i am going to be adding one inch for joining the dart together and you should mark that point and then we are moving to the under bust and the same way divide the circumference of the under bust by four and then add two inches for the dart we took out plus another one inch to join the dart together because we are going to be cutting through that dart all right so then place your mark like that and then on the waist just exactly the same way the quarter of the waist circumference plus the two that uh two inches for the dart we took out all right plus another one inch to join the dart together okay then you are going to be marking that Take note that at this point, we've not added the similar ones to join the panels together. We are going to be doing that on the fabric. So, and now I'm moving to the dress length. So on that part mm -hmm. of your body, take your circumference, divide it by four and add one inch to join the dots together. So I placed my mark of that one like so, and I am going to be connecting those points together like so. okay and once you're done doing that this is what a pattern looks like at this point all right and because i don't want the down part of mine to be entirely straight like this i am going to be you know slanting it and curving it a little bit just like i want it so i took about two inches upward and i slanted it that way okay and now we are going to be drafting our back panel and i'm going to be making use of this part because we need that same uh horizontal lines so i'm just drawing a, a straight line to start at my to serve as my starting point and i'm taking my zipper allowance of one inch right now so i'm connecting that point together now and this now is my zip allowance okay so then i'm also extending this line you remember that that's going to be the edge of our uh, tube top now so we need it to continue to the back as well all right so on that line now i am going to be taking my chest measurement so the circumference of my chest just like we did for the front panel circumference of your chest divided by four plus you know one inch to join your dart if your dart is going to be getting to that part and on the waistline do the same thing circumference divided by four plus one inch for the dart so you are going to be marking it like that so if you are going to be cutting through your dart make sure you add whatever you take out from the dart and, and another 
one needs to join your dart together but for me i'm not going to be cutting my back panel dart okay so and on my uh top length i am doing the same exact thing like i did for the front panel and then i'm going to be cutting this i mean i'm going to be joining those points together now and once that is done remember that on the front panel we slanted it a little bit like this so we are going to be doing the same thing to the back so i'm just measuring what i have there and i'm going to be transferring it on my side uh on where my side seam is going to be and i'm going to be connecting it towards my zipper uh part just like that right and next i'm going to be inserting my back dart so i'm going to be taking my nipple to nipple measurement again so half of my nipple to nipple measurement mark it like that connect it into a straight line and on that line from your dress length for me i came up by one inch okay and on on this line i'm coming down by half of an inch right and on my waistline i'm going to be taking half inch to the right and half inch to the left so i'm going to be connecting those four points together now okay and in order not to get you guys confused take note that these lines are not part of our pattern all of those lines are not part of the pattern so this is our back panel and here is our front panel okay and now I am just, you know, connecting this line so you guys can see it clearly. But that's not going to be the shape of my back because I want it to be a little bit more dramatic on the back side as well. So I am going to be coming down by about one inch or you can take one and a half inch depending on how low you want it. And then you should connect it just like I have done. So now we are getting rid of this line as well. Okay. Right, I'm just extending that towards my zipper allowance as well. And just for a quick recap, here is one part of my bra cup. This is another part. This is my center front and this is the side panel. So I'm going to be taking out this dart and this one as well. And that being said, I am going to be numbering them so as to understand the panels better. So this is going to be one and this is two. This is three and four and just for me not to forget that i'm going to be cutting this center front unfold i'm going to be placing a mark on it like so just to you know remind me you can do the same as well so now we have to cut our panel all right and remember like i said i did not add the uh, allowance to join these panels together on my pattern i'm going to be doing so on my fabric all right so just keep watching you're going to see how this is going to turn out all right okay and on my back panel i am going to be you know getting rid of the zip bulge that we usually have at the back side if you don't know how to do this this is an opportunity for you to you know learn how to do this all right on my waistline i'm just coming in by half of an inch depending on how curvy the back of your client is you can make it three and uh, i mean three quarter of an inch then i'm going to be curving it towards the upper back like this and towards the hip like that just watch how i'm going to curve it so basically it's very simple just take half of an inch inward and curve it this way to your hip side and also curve it upward like so and that's just going to eliminate the zip bulge that we usually have at the back of our dresses okay and since this is a corset we need it to be you know really really curvy mm -hmm. and nice and now this is a new zipper allowance and on this line as well you are going to be repeating the same thing i came in by half of an inch and i'm going to be curving it both upward and downward as well just like so all right and now this is our new zipper allowance so it's no longer straight as usual <laughs> all right so it's just time to cut 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 
and here is what our panels looks like once we are done here is my zipper part and this is the side seam is going to be joining like this to the side panel okay so now this is my fabric once i'm done cutting them out i added half of an inch this way half of an inch half of an inch all around half half and half okay and half here as well and on the down part i added one and half of an inch the same for the side as well so the next thing to do now is to place a notch on all the prominent points so that when we are joining our, our fabric together we can reference those points to make sure everything comes out perfectly it is important for you to notch on your cup as well so remember to notch on your cup okay and next thing you should transfer your back that from your pattern to your fabric and once that is done you should use this main fabric to cut out your uh, lining fabric it should be exact same thing except that i made the length of my lining fabric one inch shorter than the main fabric okay and after that is done i went ahead and iron interfacing on my fabric i ironed it on all my pieces here is what my lining looks like once i'm done cutting them and now we are going to be working on our bra cup so make sure you place them correctly how they should be i'm going to be bringing out a pattern so that we can remember how they should be remember i numbered them one and two so you should have one first and then two so go ahead and place them together like this and run a straight stitch and after stitching it you should notch all around and then flat iron the seam and then you should have something like this as soon as you flip it to the right side you can see how beautiful this is looking so go ahead and do the same thing to the second cup as well and then we are going to be joining the center panel and your side panel together so remember that we are joining along the that area so place them together like this and run a straight stitch of uh, half of an inch all the way down once i'm done joining together this is what i have so make sure you flat iron your seam as well so now we are going to be attaching our cup Make sure you're picking the right cup for the right side so the bigger part of the cup you know that part that i have green has to be towards your side panel okay so go ahead and align the seams together like this and once you align the seams together if everything is correct with your measurement all the notches we did before should match so turn it around like this on your sewing machine and join them together okay and once i'm done doing that this is what i come up with you can see how it looks both inside and outside all right and you should repeat the same thing to the other panel as well okay and once i'm done doing that this is what i have you can see how clean and perfect is looking at this point yours should look something like this as well <laughs> all right so now we are going to be joining the back panel so put them together and join by one inch or one and a half of an inch whatever seam allowance you've left okay this is what i have after this is done if you have your clients around or yourself make sure you try it on at this point and make sure everything is perfect when you are sewing the side seam mm -hmm. all right so everything we've uh, joined so far on the main fabric you are going to be joining your lining the exact same way the only difference is that i did not iron any interfacing on my uh, lining it's optional if you want you can iron your interfacing on it so once you're done joining your lining you should put them right side facing each other like this and then we are going to be joining these two together now so make sure all the seams align make sure you align all of the seams the sides and everything and once that is done then you're going to be joining around the neckline you know the neck region first <laughs> and after that then you can go ahead and join your sides together after joining the side join the second side and also join the down part and then you should stop somewhere here so that you can turn your tube top inside out from here and then you should insert your zipper or you can style it with a lace 
the choice is yours here is the finished look of this beautiful corset tube top there are multiple ways in which you can style this you can wear it on your bodycon in your blazer as a crop top you know the list is endless just go ahead and make yours and when you make it caption hashtag dummy dimension on instagram so i can see it please give me a thumbs up for this tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and until i see you in my next video bye